Wan maluma, huh? Here you are, man. <laughs> you know that this is for me such a big dream to be in touch with you. You must play the body, you must play the mind, you must play your emotions, you must play your energies. Only and only when there is no fear of suffering, will you walk your life full stride. Por mi te vieron, déjame decirte Se ve que él te trata bien, que es todo un caballero Namaskaram, Juan. Nam hey, what's up? Juan Maluma, huh? Here you are, man. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing well. Where are you? Huh? Are you in Medellin? In yeah, oh. in Colombia. Oh, I, Thank you so much here. I, I hear a lot of transformation in uh, Medellin in a big way. A lot of beautiful things happening there. Yeah, this is a beautiful city, this is a beautiful country. Well, uh, I'm always flying around, but this is home for me. And I'm so happy to have this conversation with you here in my house, in my home, my hometown, Medellin. Thanks for your time. Wonderful. I have, you know, like I've met your Prime Minister and I've met also Ricardo Lozano Picon. You know, oh, he's yeah. the Environment and Sustainability Minister. He's been inviting yeah. me to Colombia for quite some time, but... Uh, do you have you, any plans to come? No. You must take me there. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> See, I've Please. I've traveled everywhere in the world except South America. You know that it's it's incredible because we have a lot of people who really love you from from Colombia and from Medellin especially. If, I know if that you are, you, if you are one of them, I'm coming. Huh? No, if of, course. <laughs> 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 of course I am, and I'm hopefully uh, I could see you. In person, no? Where are you now? I'm in India in uh, our Isha Yoga Center in India in Coimbatore. Okay. We are our backyard. Are you stay there? Our, no, in another few days, uh, I'll be in United States in a few, in a week or so, in two weeks or so. I, I want to go to to India. That's one of my biggest dreams. You must come. Tell me when you want to come. We'll set up something for you. Uh, okay. Something we can Thank do nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you know that this is for me such a big dream to be in touch with you. Uh, uh, I don't know, for me, it's something like almost unreal because for me, you're one of, of my, my biggest inspirations, you know. You. <laughs> uh, I'm in this, in this crazy industry, the music industry. And well, I started when I was 16 years old. So, mm -hmm. and I'm already 27. So, so I had to live so many things at the same time, you know. So my, my life has been changing real quick. So if it wasn't because of your teachings or your lessons, I wouldn't be the the strong man that I'm right now. So I, I wanted to thank you. <laughs> I'm to glad. pretty thankful to you. Thank you. I have, a, I have a couple of questions. I don't know. May I? Yeah, please. Any kind of question is okay. But uh, I heard that uh, you make your Colombian coffee, I've had that, but you must come to South India and have coffee, then you may not leave this place. <laughs> you know, <laughs> someone told me that the coffee in India is crazy good, yeah? <laughs> South Indian coffee, where, where we are is the best coffee you can find. <laughs> well, have you tried the Colombian one? Yes, I have. It's good. Colombian and and coffee what do you is think? Good. It's better? Uh, it's very rich, but it can't be better. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love coffee too, and I drink coffee every every morning. So, well, we have something something in common too. So, so sad. Uh, I wanted to to ask you this because for me it's pretty important because I don't know when I'm gonna stop working. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I... Hey, I, I thought you're like... singing. You singing um, is not work. Huh? You're getting to sing and why is it work? Huh? Don't call it work. Well, but... <laughs> okay, well, for me, because I enjoy it, I enjoy it a lot. So, so when I'm on stage, of course, I feel that I'm not, I'm not working, but you have so many compromises and so many things to do at the same time. It's not only about singing. And, and sometimes I feel like I I need to to stop or slow down a little bit, but I feel like 
a lot of pressure every day you know when i wake up because there's a lot of people like they eat because because of my job so i feel like i do it for me but sometimes i would also feel like i do it for for a lot of people around me so so i feel if if i take the decision to to stop i'm not, i'm going to be kind of evil with <laughs> with the world and and with me what do you think about it see uh uh one you need to understand this even in our life there are only two things one is profoundness of experience within ourselves people think they are doing different things somebody sings somebody dances somebody drinks somebody drugs somebody prays somebody meditates somebody goes after conquest and wealth and whatever all this is essentially seeking profoundness of experience you want to experience something more the man who goes to the temple and the man who goes to the bar uh, they are looking for the same thing they want profoundness of experience one thinks it's in heaven another thinks it's in the bottle all right but essentially all human experience happens within us it never happened in heaven nor did it happen in the bottle bottle might have stimulated something but heaven might have stimulated something but all experience pain and pleasure joy and misery agony and ecstasy everything happened only within us so profoundness of experience has to happen first for this there are tools to see how our experience is very profound no matter we are doing a big thing or a small thing mm -hmm. right now you are breathing do you think it's a very big thing or a small thing it's a big thing yeah if it's a small thing you must give it up i'm saying <laughs> it, it is the biggest thing you're doing but a lot of people think that's not good enough they must be doing something else if if you understand or if you realize and experience just breathing is such a phenomenal thing being alive is the greatest thing that's happening in the universe right now is you're alive all right mm -hmm. so profoundness of experience there is a way to create this what inner engineering is about that you make your experience of life very profound once your experience of life is very profound whether you're doing this or that doesn't make a difference whether you're on stage being uh, you know performing people clapping and audulating all that is fine or you are simply sitting and breathing both will be same experience in terms of profoundness once you do that now what is the next thing as human beings anyway we are performing some activity the question is is our activity impactful or not that's all the question some people are performing impactful activity some people are spinning on the same place you know there there's no mm -hmm. traction they're just spinning in the same place now in your life when you have the opportunity to do something that you love to do this is very important because most yeah. people are doing I'm something very grateful. most people are doing something that doesn't mean anything you know certain surveys in united states of america shows 70% of the people hate their work all right hate not dislike not tense hate, hate. <laughs> so five days five days in a week if you do something that you hate naturally weekend you're overdosed what else will you do no so way. when you have a life where you're doing something that you love to do and it is also for whatever reasons it's the times so we must understand the impact of what we're doing is not all ours it is the times in which we exist see only because of 21st century 2021 that we are sitting here that you are sitting in uh, uh <laughs> what uh, medellin and i'm mm -hmm. sitting in coimbatore but we can be talking you think uh, mm -hmm. in 1921 we could have done this no of course not definitely not could you think we could have done it a thousand years ago no it's only now so we are talking like this because it's a consequence of time so let us not think that everything the impact that we are creating in the world is not all ours we are just riding on the times so right now you are doing what you love to do you are creating the impact only thing is profoundness of experience has to come that your experience of being alive has to become so profound it doesn't matter what you have to do today maybe next one year you won't sing you will be doing only management and sales and nonsense and whatever but still mm -hmm. even that can be profound aspect of your work 
that can be profound experience. If your experience of being alive is profound, everything becomes profound. You sit and breathe is profound, you take a morsel of food, it's profound. You look at a mountain or a, a river or a cloud, it becomes profound. Everything becomes profound because you have done that to yourself, because human experience happens within us, not because of what is around us. It is happening that way because that's the way we are. That is what we need to attend to. If that one thing you attend to, your genius will flower. You may produce things that you have not imagined possible in your life. So, you have worked for eleven years and now you're talking like a tired old man, maybe I have to stop <laughs> and… and no. nobody even put you to work, you're just singing, man <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I, I… I understand, absolutely, but I don't know, sometimes it's just the feeling of being… being tired, it plays a little game in… in, in your mind, you know, because you feel like… You, when… when I feel sometimes that I have to do certain things, uh, I feel like… I feel under pressure and I, I don't like that because I feel like I'm a free soul, you know? That's, that's what I love composing. That's what I love going to the studio. That's why I love going and, and, and perform. So sometimes when it, when the thing gets serious, <laughs> you know, I feel like I, I don't, I don't like it that much. I still do it, but sometimes I feel like, well, when I started, it was just like living this dream. And sometimes it gets, not only a dream because the business is involved with it too, you know. So I I, I don't want to feel like one day the this the uh, I'm gonna lose the 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 sparkle, you know. I, it's not happening now. It's not happening now because I'm pretty happy. I'm very grateful, and I'm working in my next album. I feel pretty inspired. But I don't want to wake up one day and feel like my dreams are over. Come here, Buddha. Let me introduce you my dog. His name is Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Say hi. You're blessed, man. Look who's watching you. <laughs> so, uh, one, you just said, what you are saying is essentially different activities are doing different things to you. You said it plays in your mind. What you need to do is nothing should play in your mind. You should play in your mind, not something else. Something else is playing in your mind, you usually, <laughs> traditionally they would say you're possessed, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Nothing else should play in your mind except you. Your mind is your play field, nobody has any business to play there. Yeah, your yeah. mind is your play field, only you should be playing there. Somebody else, something else playing there means we've gotten a few fundamental things off. If you were playing in your mind, if you were deciding what should happen in your mind, right now, and every moment of your life, would you choose to keep yourself blissful or miserable? What's no, your choice? Blissful. Yeah? So that's what needs to happen, that you must be playing your mind. Your mind should not be playing you. Your body should not be playing you. You must play the body, you must play the mind, you must play your emotions, you must play your energies. Right now, the… In it's like the road is driving you. Then where you will go, we know where you will go, all right? <laughs> if you're mm -hmm. driving, you can choose to go where you want. So, these… these are fundamentals that people have missed in their life. This is what I'm calling as inner engineering. Engineering yourself in such a way, you engineer yourself in the way you want yourself to be. See, you don't have to be the way I want you to be. You must be the way you want to be, because in the end, if you really look at it, you ask any human being, this question I just asked you now, if there was a choice, would you like to be miserable or blissful? Believe me, one hundred percent of the population, when they're in their senses, they will say blissful. Yes or no? So if yeah. all of us want the same thing, what is the problem? The problem is we have not taken charge of it. We think something else is doing it. No, nothing else is doing it. This is why it is very important in the yogic system, we said your life is your karma. This means… karma means action. Your life is your doing. But I didn't do this, I didn't do the stress, I didn't do the anxiety, I didn't do the depression. No, you are doing it. It's just that it is such a elaborate and sophisticated mechanism, you don't have a full grip on it. That's the whole problem. See, for example, <clears throat> right now people will say, oh, if I go sit on the beach, I feel so peaceful, office is a terrible place, all right? 
you just park them on the beach for next seven days, you will see how miserable these people are, okay? Yeah. Just they were only enjoying a little distance from what they were doing. People say, I'm suffering my work, fire them and see how happy they will be, they won't be. So the problem is not in what we are doing, the problem is we have not taken charge of our faculties. If everything, your thought and emotion, not even everything, if your thought and emotion just happen the way you want, you would definitely be blissful every moment of your life, isn't it? And only… Ah, yeah. <laughs> only and only when there is pleasantness of experience, your intelligence, your genius, the most wonderful aspects of who you are will come out. When you're not in a pleasant experience, ugly things will come out. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. To totally right. Thank you. I, th I never, I never thought about it like like that. Thank you. Oof. Okay. Uh, I have a, I have a question for you. I don't know because yeah, but you can ask me any number of questions. But in the end, you got to sing for me. I'm going to, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn uh, a song from from India, and then I'm gonna sing it to you. <laughs> no, 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 today you must sing for me. If you sing for okay. me, I will… Uh, in your song somewhere, I will sing two sentences for you. <laughs> okay. How's that? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing for you. I'm gonna sing for you. <laughs> question… I have this question because it gets me kind of confused sometimes. For… what's been spiritual? See, uh, when you say myself, the headphones that you're wearing, is that you? No. No. Yeah? It's no. yours, it's not you, right? Yeah, yeah. Right now, it is making you hear things better than your ears would do by themselves. But still, you know it's not you, you're wearing it. So it's yours, but it's not you. If it doesn't work, you'll get rid of it and put a new one. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about your ears. Are they yours or, or is it you? No, that's me. Really? Do no? you say… do you say my ear or do you say ear me? <laughs> <laughs> well, my ear, yeah. Yes, so it is yours, it's not you. If your ears are yours, not you, your eyes, are they your eyes or is it yeah, you? Yeah. Well, my, my eyes, yeah. Your eyes. Same goes for the nose, same goes for your voice. I'm coming to deeper things you now. Your uh, vocal mm -hmm. cords, all they're all yours, not you, right? Mm -hmm. It's yours. So yeah. this very body is yours because you gathered it over a period of time. You were not born like this. You came like this, like a little baby. And slowly you gathered this. How? Just the food that you eat. Now I don't want to talk about the South American food. We need to do some changes there <laughs> <laughs> No, next time you come to my house, are you going to love it? You're going to like it, I'm sure <laughs> So, uh, the food that we have eaten has become the body. How did food come? Just the earth became food, food became body. One day this body will become earth once again, yes or no? Yeah. So, what you call as my body is something that you gathered. What you gather cannot be you, it can only be yours. So this body is yours, it's fine. For now only it is yours. In another hundred years, it'll not be yours. Countless number of people walk this planet before you and me. Where are they now? They're all topsoil, isn't it? So you and me also will become topsoil, I will go before you, don't worry. Uh, but uh <laughs> well, let's <laughs> let's see. That's great. <laughs> we will we will become topsoil. So essentially, we have gathered this body and made it what it is. What you call as our mind is the impressions we have taken in from around us. By seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, we have gathered so many impressions. That is also gathered. So what you call as body is a heap of food. What you call as mind is a heap of impressions. So what you gather cannot be you, it can only be yours. So your body is yours, your mind is yours, where is you, I'm asking? It's my spirit? No, 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 don't come to conclusion. Where are you right now? I'm here in Medellin, my house. 
No, your body is in Medellin, in the studio, with a okay. dog uh, bothering you from behind <laughs> But that is your body. Where are you? Okay. Well, y y well, it I doesn't know, matter. A... It doesn't matter. But you do exist, isn't it? You definitely yeah. exist. So, what is this that I call as myself? When you begin to experience that, which is beyond all accumulations, which is beyond physical nature, then we say you are spiritual. Spiritual is not a belief system. Spiritual is not a religion. Spiritual is not an ideology or philosophy. Spiritual means you have started experiencing something beyond the physicality of who you are. Beyond your physical self, you started experiencing something. This means you're spiritual. Okay. Wow. I… 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 I want you to look at the next face of that. If you are experiencing yourself beyond what you call as my body, beyond what you call as my mind, this is the end of suffering in your life because there are only two types of suffering, physical suffering and mental suffering. Do you know any other kind of suffering? No, only those. Only those. Once you are beyond this body, beyond this mind, when you start experiencing something beyond that, this is the end of suffering. Once there is no fear of suffering, only and only when there is no fear of suffering, will you walk your life full stride. Otherwise, the fear of suffering is always making people take half steps, never take full steps. Okay. So if a human being wants to realize their full potential in their existence here, the most important thing is that you must know something beyond your body and beyond your mind. You must know whatever happens with your life, still there is something beyond that which is absolutely spectacular because life is the most spectacular thing happening here. When that is in your experience, not in your belief, but in your experience, then you will walk full stride realizing the full potential of what an individual human being can do. And that's what needs to happen to every human being. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. But yeah, because I, f I feel like I, I, I lived it already. I sh things beyond my mind and, and my body, I felt, I felt it before. Like things that, that is kind of difficult to explain, but that's when I, when I feel like that's a spiritual world for me, when it's something that is almost, for me, it's almost impossible to describe, but I just, I just feel it from, from See, the bottom. Yeah. I would say a whole lot of human beings, many, many of them in the world, would have had moments like that. Some people might have had more moments than somebody else, but almost every human being, at some point in their life, they would have touched something which is beyond physicality. Only problem is they're not able to stay there because it is like a trampoline. They're jumping up and feeling something, but they're falling back. What they need is a staircase. So this is what inner engineering is, it's a staircase to get there and stay there. Mm-hmm. And how… how is the right way to stay… To, is to get there and stay there? Oh, uh, I will ask or them to send you… Way. I will… <laughs> I will ask them to send you a preparatory seven-session uh, thing for you, it's called inner engineering online. I'll ask them to send you a link today itself. You just go the, through the seven sessions, this will clear mm -hmm. the mind in terms of what is it that we are doing wrong with ourselves. And then there okay. is a… there is a completion program which can also be done online or physically in the United States or in India, where there's a powerful process. So this process is called Shambhavi. Can you pronounce Shambhavi? Shambhavi. Yeah, that's great. Once you do it, you will start singing about it for sure because if you sit… <laughs> If you… this is just a twenty-one minute practice, if you sit and do Shambhavi, mm -hmm. if you sit here, what happens is, your body will be here, your mind is somewhere else, what is you is elsewhere. Once a clear gap arises between you and your body, between you and your mind, so you're sitting there like with three identities of body, mind and yourself. But when you open your eyes, again you get stuck. But if you keep doing it morning, evening, every day, a day will come when you open your eyes, you're still the same way. Your body is here, mind is there, what is you is here. Once there is this separation, 
you can use your body and your mind in ways that people cannot imagine possible. You can okay. live in such a way that people think you are superhuman. But this is not about being superhuman, this is about realizing that being human itself is super. Even if you look at it in terms of evolution, well, on this planet, the most evolved creature on this planet is human being. This means we are literally on top of the world. But yes. human beings… but human beings are not experiencing life like it's top of the world. They are one species who are cribbing all the time. Wow <laughs> <laughs> And even you, know? <laughs> you, even you are successful musician at the age of twenty-nine, you are super successful and you are cribbing. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I, you know, I started, I started meditating when I was twelve years old, and it was, it was weird here in in Colombia or the Occident. You know, like people they don't, they they didn't understand what we were doing, so we were like a pretty small group of people that we 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 used to meditate every day, and to be honest, it changed my life, and I've been, I've been, I've been doing it since I was 12 years old and if you send me the, uh, the how, how is it called the sha it's called uh, you, let's call it inner engineering it's easy that way shambhavi oh, okay. shambhavi the shambhavi that will help me a lot too and and I want to I want to bring those those lessons to to my country because I know that there are a lot of people here there's a lot of people here who they get they get a, a stuck in in pretty difficult moments in their life and and I try to teach them what I've been doing for so many years and it's kind of difficult for them to to understand so, so for larger groups of people we will send you another one which is all these things are available free for people to do it's called Isha Kriya millions of people okay. around the world are doing it I will ask them to send that to you you share it with as many people as you want because thank they you must do this because, uh, you know, this whole thing is about… Uh, my whole effort is this. When I was twenty-five years of age, I came to a very profound experience within myself. Unasked, simply, it happened. I was just sitting somewhere and I suddenly found every cell in my body burst into an ecstatic state. So, it didn't just for a few minutes, but it lasted for hours. And if I close my eyes, I think it's two minutes, but seven, eight hours would be gone like this, you know, I would feel like this because I was so ecstatic. Then after a few weeks, I realized, if I don't mess with my mind, I'm ecstatic. I'm just like dripping ecstasy. Then the fool that I was at the age of twenty-five, I sat down and made a plan that at that time, the world's population was 5.6 billion people. I made a plan. In the next two and a half years, I will make the whole world ecstatic. Who will not want it? Well, forty years, look at me <laughs> Well, we touched a little over <laughs> nearly… Uh, nearly… we touched nearly two billion people but <laughs> <laughs> We've touched nearly you, two you're billion. Doing a, you're doing an amazing job. You're doing an amazing job. Wow. <laughs> but Great. I will die of failure, I know that. So if all your fans uh, start meditating a little bit, at least a simple form of meditation, I will increase, you know, better my uh, failure percentages. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna… I'm gonna tell my fans that they have to live it because it's it worked for me it is working for me i'm a i'm a very happy young man i want to keep dreaming i want to keep achieving uh many goals but i i want to i want to teach them where i live in right now so i really i really want to wanted to be in touch with you so you can say by yourself thank you this uh, isha kriya is available in spanish also the okay. instructions are okay. in spanish great i have i have another question and this is something that I always think about, and it's, it's about karma. What is a bad and a good karma? <laughs> See, the word karma literally means action. <clears throat> what is action? See, now you're sitting there. Even if you're not saying anything, not doing anything, your body is in some kind of action, isn't it? Physical action is happening. Yeah. Mental action is happening. 
emotional action is happening. It may be pleasant, it may be unpleasant, but some action is happening. For all these three activities to happen, the energetic action is also happening. So four dimensions of karma, all of us are performing every moment of our life. In wakefulness and in sleep, we are performing karma. But last twenty-four hours, what time is it uh, in Colombia right now? It's ten a.m. Oh, okay. So, in the last twenty-four hours, if you look back, how much of these four dimensions of karma did you perform consciously? If you look at that, it is way below one percent for almost every human being on the planet. Because what the body is doing, what the mind is doing, what the emotions are doing, what our life energies are doing, we are not aware of this. Only small percentage you are aware. Right now, for example, do you ride motorcycles? Yeah, I love ATVs, four ATV. wheels. ATV, got four wheels, so that's not for a young man. I ride motorcycles, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I used to have one, but I, I don't know, I got afraid of it. <laughs> I don't know what, yeah. You must come and ride with me. Huh? <laughs> please, please, you know, please, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to feel afraid next to you. <laughs> I, I rode across the uh, United States last season, you know that last year? Yeah, I saw it, I saw you. <laughs> Amazing. So, suppose you're riding a ATV, let's say. Mm -hmm. Out of ten minutes of driving it, nine minutes you close your eyes and drive. You know what will happen? Crash Disaster only. only. Yes. So yeah. right now, if we are not even conscious even of one percent of the activity that we are performing within ourselves, and we think why life is happening the way it's happening, everything looks like an accident simply because we're unconscious most of the time. If you yeah. incre if you… if you bring, let's say, two to five percent of your daily karma into conscious process, suddenly you look like a miraculous human being for everybody else <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, karma is neither bad nor good. It is not a system of reward and punishment. It is just that every action that you do, it's like this. See, right now, if I see you, suppose I know you well, and I see you, you're walking half a mile away, I can't recognize you. But just the way you move your hand, I will know, oh, it is him. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Because this is your karma, that is the way you move your hand. That is the way you walk, that is the way you speak, that's the way you do things. This is how karma is, because every action that you perform, it leaves a residual footprint within us. Initially, it starts as a chemical footprint, then it becomes an energetic footprint, then it becomes a karmic footprint. So, every action that you do, you move your hand like this, it is leaving a footprint. You say something, it's leaving a footprint. You generate a thought, it's leaving a footprint. This is life's way of recording everything that you do, because that's how you become a person, all right? It is a karmic memory which makes you a certain yes. kind of person. Suppose we wipe out all your memory, then you wouldn't know who you are, you are not a person anymore, because personality needs memory, isn't it? Yes, so, ka of karma is the basis of who you are. People are thinking there is bad karma, good karma, no. We have performed actions all kinds, some are physical actions, some are mental, some are emotional. For a whole lot of human beings in today's world, in the modern world, ninety percent of their life is psychological and emotional karma. Only ten percent they're doing activity. Maybe two centuries ago they were doing more physical karma and less mental karma, but today there is more mental and emotional karma and very little physical karma. So. Especially mental karma leaves a strong footprint upon everything that you are. The way you think, the way you feel, the way you project things, all this is leaving an imprint. After some time, it makes you like an automatic human being. After that, you don't have to think, anyway you will do it that way. I am saying the way somebody brushes their teeth is unique to each person. That's how life is, you know? Everybody doesn't brush their teeth the same way <laughs> because that is karma. The memory that we have in our system function in a certain way or slowly it forms a rut. So once… Uh, if you're driving ATVs, you have definitely driven in ruts, isn't it? 
where there are pathways, <laughs> it's gone inside. Whatever you try to do, it just keeps going in the rut. So karma is like that, if you are not conscious, it will form a rut. After that, after some time, you… it looks like somebody else is running your life. It looks like some other destiny is running your life. So if you become… if you make efforts to make yourself conscious about the karma that you are performing on a daily basis, you will see, you will become the person who crafts your own destiny. Somebody else or something else will not craft your destiny. So karma is the most dynamic way to live. When I say my life is my karma, I'm saying my life is my making. This is the most dynamic way to exist. But unfortunately, people have, are interpreting it like it's a fatalistic thing. Are your karma, what can I do? No, no, karma means it's what you have done. If you understand everything that's happening to you right now, you're feeling wonderful, you're feeling horrible, both these things are done by you, if you understand this, naturally you will do wonderful things, isn't it? Right now I think, I'm feeling wonderful, maybe God is nice to me, I'm feeling horrible, maybe devil is bothering me. <laughs> well, you can't fix it anymore. You cannot fix it anymore <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so true. Wow. Thank you. That's amazing. Wow. Speechless. You must sing a song now. This is the time. Okay. I'm gonna sing for you, like a romantic song, yeah? Okay. Or, or heavy it's... reggaeton. You got you like reggaeton? Uh, reggae is fine with me. Romantic song don't want if it's directed I wanna towards love me. You. And treat you right, I wanna love you Hey, every day and every night, we'll be together, yeah. But now I'm gonna sing one of my, because that, that's, that was Bob Marley. I'm gonna <laughs> sing one of my songs. Uh, I'm gonna sing this one. Uh, Deja de mentirte. Hey, la foto que subiste con él diciendo que era tu cielo. Bebé, yo te conozco también, sé que fue para darme celos. No te diré quién, pero llorando por mí te vieron, por mí te vieron. Déjame decirte, se ve que él te trata bien, que es todo un caballero. Pero eso no cambiará, que yo llegué primero. Sé que te va a ir bien, pero... No te quiere como yo te quiero. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank Wonderful. you. Thank you for your lessons. I'm, I'm, I'm your fan. I love what you do in this amazing world that we live in. Uh, I'm feeling very grateful. My aunt also, she loves you so much. Also, her kids, they're always seeing your videos. They're always asking. Oh, please, uh, give, my, give my regards and blessing to your aunt and the kids, especially the kids. <laughs> of course, they, and they're so young. I mean, Apollo, he's six And I also, old. I am also a fan of uh, one of your Colombian uh, football stars. We Who? call him J We call him James, you call him something else, but... Uh, what do you call James, him? James, you like him. soccer? Yeah, yeah. Jaime Rodriguez. Yeah, Jaime Rodriguez. Yeah, yes. he's yeah he's he's one. He's I one think of the for best uh, he's a spectacular player, but somehow he didn't make it as big as he should have. Maybe. Well, you he, should talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe you because will help him. in terms of talent, he's fantastic. But uh, he's great. I think uh, only if he moves to Europe. You become famous if you live in yeah. South America, it gets… It's difficult, it's, it's mm. kind of difficult, I know. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, thanks for your time. What time is there? Uh, right now it's 8.45 in the evening. Okay, have a great night then. Yep. Say hi to your team, thank you very much. I hope to thank see you. you pretty soon in person. All the best for you, we and must catch up somewhere. Time. I'm in United States for three months, if you're coming there, uh, we'll catch up with you. I'll be there. I'll be there in Miami. I'll be there in Miami and also Los Angeles. Okay, okay then. Okay. We'll catch up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Namaskar. God bless you. Bye. <laughs> Wonderful, Jon. <laughs> All the best for you.